Such a flat, calm, beautiful sunny day right now. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I gotta find the spot here to drop this trap. Um, there's kind of a bit of a river over here, more of a creek. And I find that's like a really good spot where all the crabs hang out. So just gonna go paddle a little ways over here and then plunk this baby in. Oh my God. Yeah, this looks good. This looks good. Right about here. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I'll drop my camera. I'm probably gonna be all tangled up here. Oh no. Oh, shoot. Definitely should have flaked this before getting on my board. Come on, there we go. But, might as well straighten this all out. Yeah, whatever. Let future me deal with this mess here. Now we wait. I'll give it about four to six hours on the bottom there. Make sure it gives time for the uh, crabs to sort of find the trap, crawl inside and get stuck. If you've never seen a crab trap before, they got like little one-way doors that swing open and close, so the crab can go in, but they can't get out. So you gotta let it sit for a bit, get that real stinky meat smell in the water and yeah hopefully the hopefully we'll catch some crabs because i am starving for crabs now it's on my mind well since we got some time to burn might as well go for a little tour got the got such a beautiful day might as well make the most of it That's a nice boulder. Such a beautiful little beach line here. Still a beautiful day, the wind picked up a little bit. Right over there is Neck Point. I just passed Neck Point over there. The Georgia Strait in the mainland is over there, all those mountains over there you can see is the mainland. Right behind me here is Piper's Lagoon and Shack Island. There's all these like little tiny shacks that uh, people set up here back in like the 60s. They got squatting rights on all the property here after being on here for so long, I guess that's how it works. I guess now the families still get to use these shacks. They're really cool. Kind of one of my dream homes. So beautiful. I like love the construction of beach cabins because it's just like a mix of whatever you find on the beach and cabin stuff. <laughs> um, this one's just gorgeous here. Look at this. I love how like all the decks and the walkways just like line up to one another. So it's like kind of like a big boardwalk in a way. So cool. All really well kept. Amazing. Just the beach.
Hey guy. Goodbye. Another one. Hello. That was awesome, I love this spot so much. Um, daylight hours are dwindling. Um, killed about two and a half hours on this paddle so far, so that's been an excellent adventure. Um, now it's just time to rip back and gotta go check the trap. So hopefully there's some crabs and I got dinner. Otherwise I gotta figure out something else. And honestly, I don't know any other way to feed myself, so. There's my boy. And my tangled mess uh, I'm just not gonna deal with. Hey. Hopefully we caught something here. I've never really used pork before. Normally I use chicken. So let's hope, let's hope this works. I mean, those are some delicious baby back ribs there, so I don't see why. Crabs to be that picky. Please, Riley, don't drop your phone in the water. Oh, it's heavy. That's a good sign. Huh, that sucks. Toss her back in for more. Whoa. It looked like an eagle just landed in the tree right above me there. Just chilling on the branch, that was pretty cool. Hey guy.